guys are Nathan and welcome to my channel. My name is Stefania if you're new here. So today we're gonna be testing out the new Fenty Fly Liners, the colored liners. I'm very excited. You guys know I'm a huge fan of colored liners so I can't wait to jump into this. I also picked up some of the Lawless Beauty lipsticks. I said in my no buy that I was gonna wait till sale but I had a rough week <laughs> on YouTube so I was just like retail therapy. I want something that just makes me happy even if it doesn't last for long. But I'm very confident in these lipsticks. Like, I'm, I'm so excited to try them out. They are Lawless's first actual lipstick. So, anyways, let's go ahead and get into this video. I can't wait to swatch and play. Don't forget to subscribe down below. I do upload here at least three to four times a week, and I would really appreciate it. And let's go ahead and jump into this. Okay, so the Fenty Beauty liners, they retail for $22. You're getting 0.3 grams. Um, it comes in a variety of shades. Like the shades were so pretty. She did a great job on color selection, I feel. It's a creamy longwear water resistant pencil eyeliner and a wide range of matte shimmer metallic glitter shades. I'm gonna insert a clip right here while I read this stuff because I did swatch a lot of them and then I also washed them under water. I feel like my hair is just like, you know, the day of like my hair never looks that great, you know? It needs to get dirty and then it looks better. <laughs> it refuses to straighten at this point, but uh, yes, so it says that it is a wide range of matte, shimmer, metallic, and glitter shades for effortless, no limit look that lasts. This product is cruelty free. Um, it says formula is smooth and creamy, so you get enough playtime before it sets in place. No limit lining, just got brighter. So, it says smudge resistant, lightweight, convenient twist up. But yeah, the what I did notice though, picking out the shades was... I don't do well with a lot of liners. Um, my go-tos, especially for colored liners, Linda Hallberg, Marc Jacobs. Marc Jacobs is like my number one. I love Marc Jacobs liners. You guys know this if you've been on my channel. Um, but I have a lot of problems. Like I can't, even though I would love to use Tarte eyeliners um, or even, like for some reason the Wake one works for me okay. But like any of the colored ones, Urban Decay has beautiful colors. They break my eyes out like crazy. My eyes turn bright red. It is not good. You guys mention it in videos and I'm just like, I can't just, even if I put drops in before, my eyes still get red no matter what, okay? But like, those are like red itchy eyes. This, like normal eyeliners, is just a little red. So I already put drops in, so hopefully we're okay. But that was my main concern and that's why I didn't pick up any of the glitter shades. Also, if you notice in the clip, the glitter shades did wipe off a lot easier than the matte shades. So just keep that in mind that I don't think they are as long lasting, long lasting, <laughs> long lasting as the mattes. So, but I feel like the glitter ones, like you can really smudge it out and do a full eye look with it. But yeah, I found that those wiped off a lot easier, especially the white shade with glitter. For some reason, when I swatched that one, that was the only iffy one that I found where I was like, I don't know about this one. Like you had to pass through a few times to get it to be completely opaque. So just keep that in mind. The shades I picked up are, where does it say it on here? It's very hard to read. They're really cute though. I love that she did the colored tip. That way you know like what you're picking up. I'm just gonna read the boxes cause that's gonna be easier. So I got Chrome Wrecker and I got Spaghetti Straps. Okay, so I just wanna test these out today. So I'm gonna do one eye with one and then one eye with the other. That way you guys can truly see the color. I don't generally use liners like this for like my whole wing. I usually just do it in the waterline, but I'm gonna do that today just so we can see if it shows up. You know, that's my main thing when it comes to these. Um, but yeah, I usually use like a felt tip on top. So it is a twist up. The packaging, I, we're gonna talk about that stuff later. Let me put it on, cause I have some thoughts, which can get me in a lot of trouble most of the time. But you know, we'll see. So I'm gonna use my little puff here. All right, so I twist it up a little bit. I'm just gonna go straight in. Is anybody else? I don't like watching people do this. <laughs> like I'm just like, don't poke your eye out. But yeah, I do have to twist it up quite a bit. Maybe that's just cause it's new though. You know what I mean? Um, come on, there we go. I like that she picked this color though, like the light gray, because I feel like it will go with a lot. Like usually you either see white, which sometimes can be a little bit too stark, I feel. I mean, I still like it for certain looks, but it's that or like a nude, which I love my nudes, but I'm like, ooh, this could go with a lot and still just be a little bit like, you know, open up the eyes a little bit more. So, I mean, that went on just fine. 
And then on the other side, let's do spaghetti straps, which is like a coral. So I'll do swatches after this too. They had one shade, it was like cherry something, and I was like really wanting to get it, but I was like, two is good enough. Like, they're 22 bucks a piece. Oh, that's pretty. Like, I need both hands. Uh, but yeah, it does glide on very, very nice and easily. I'm gonna do a pretty thick liner. All right, so these are rough. I'm gonna have to like go into the bathroom mirror and like look, I don't have a, like a, I need both hands, you know? But that's okay for right now. I did put a, just like a brown crease shade down just cause I don't like my blitz to be completely bare. But very easy, like glides on super easily. There's no skipping. So yeah, I mean, I need to even it out, but I feel like these are nice colors. Like which one do you guys like better? I'm gonna add some mascara. I mean, obviously I'm gonna leave the look like this since we're just playing with makeup today, which I'm just like, these are my favorite, you know, when I feel calm. Like, um, I know that certain ones I'm just like, oh no, I'm gonna get it, you know? But I feel like I actually really, I thought I would like the coral better but I actually like this a lot better. And I will say these are definitely much easier than like, even though I said like I like to use the felt tip on top, these are so much easier than like her liquid liners. Remember they came in like a pack of three. Um, those you kind of have to like really layer, whereas this went on very smooth with one layer. The only thing I will say is like, I wish that she came in like little packages like that you could like, you know, kind of like your snapshadows. If you bought two, you got a discount. Like I wish she would have done something like this for these because you know, there were so many shades to choose from, but they're 22 bucks a piece. Like I can't afford to buy them all at once. So, all right, I'm gonna even this out, put some mascara on and then let's get into the lift. Okay, I'm really happy with the uh, liners this far. So I don't know which one I like better. I feel like this one's a really good summer one, but I feel like I'm getting a lot of use out of the silver and I just feel like it's uh, like the silver gray is a hard color to find, like a matte gray. It could be crazy though. <laughs> um, so let's go ahead and get into the lipstick. So. Lawless released its first like actual lipstick. I am a big fan of the glosses. They're definitely not for everyone because they are like a thicker, heavier gloss, but I still, I love that they actually have colors. I'm, I'm very much like, I mean, they're in the mood for like a very top coat one or one that actually has opacity to it. So I don't mind those. I would rather have a long wearing lip gloss than something super thin, but I feel like I'm in the minority. <laughs> um, but yeah, I was very excited about these. The only thing is they're pretty pricey. So they are $28, which I feel like Lawless, like they're a little expensive considering they're not a brand that you hear a lot about, just in, in my opinion. Like I feel like they're always on that like side gondola now, but they're not in store yet. These come out on the 24th in store. So right now they're just on Sephora.com. So $28 satin cream lipstick that is saturated with pigment and made with nurturing oils, waxes, and vitamin E. It has jojoba oil, hydrates and nurtures dry chapped lips, candela wax, castor oil. So everything in here is supposed to be very nice and hydrating and good for your lips. It is a vegan, cruelty-free, and gluten-free product. So, and most of the shades, all the shades that came out with are nudes, um, which you guys know I'm not tired of at all. So I'm sorry if you are, but I'm not. But this is what the packaging looks like. Very minimal packaging. I will say already off the bat, I'm just like, yeah, like I already bought two, I want more, but I don't like that there's no, there's nothing that's gonna differentiate between the two I got, you know? So it's harder to reach for them because I'm just like, you know, just takes a little work, okay? And I'm lazy, that's all it is. Um, but anyways, at least they're all nude, so what could, you know, what could go wrong? So this is in the shade Annie. I'm going to swatch these first without a lip liner. I just feel like that's a good way to tell the color. And then obviously like I'll probably put a lip liner on because these are brighter nudes. My only thing was there's no great swatches anywhere. Like even on the Lawless Instagram page, I'm like, eh. like I feel like none, none of the pictures match to the swatches. And so 
That's why I only picked up two because I was like, eh. like I kind of wanted wedding day and I kind of wanted fawn, but they look so similar in one swatch where I was like, do I really need both? You know, and then like wedding day on some pictures looks super dark and then on other people it looks super light. So yeah, that I don't love. Or they post swatches and I'm like, why didn't you post like what the swatches were? I hate that. Um, but yeah, okay, so let's go in with Annie. So I knew Annie was gonna be, I'm just gonna rough swatch it. It definitely has a, it's a lipstick smell. You know when like lipstick smell kinda like Crayola? That's the smell. It doesn't bother me though. The only lipstick one that like really bothers me is like I think L'Oreal's lipstick. Ones that smell like perfume or like YSL, but it's definitely a strong waxy smell. But yeah, that is Annie. I'm definitely going to pair it with a lip liner. So it's, it's a little hot pinker than I thought it was gonna be. I thought it was gonna be, a, I don't know what I thought. Mm, I wouldn't say it feels like super nourishing, but it feels like a good formula. So let's swatch the other one. I'm probably gonna put this one back on with a lip liner just to see how that looks. Cause this is not, uh, it's not that great. I feel like a Barbie. All right, and then the next shade is Child. Yeah. You can already tell I like this one more. <laughs> this one I think is better suited for me. I still want Annie to work as a lip liner because Annie is my favorite gloss from them. But yeah, mm, I like this one. Like even, I, like, I know I still need a lip liner with it, but I like the, the shade of this a lot better. Okay, so this is what Annie looks like with the Sweet Tea Liner from Morphe. I feel like now that it's like toned down, I'm a little bit more like, ooh, I don't know. What do you guys think? You'll have to let me know. The child one, I like love. This one, I'm a little bit like, I gotta work with it a little bit, but that's kind of normal because I just, I love these tones. I'm definitely not a your lips but better person. I'm like, well then I'll just have my normal lips. Um, just like any lipstick though, I don't feel like the formula is like anything amazing where it's like so different. It feels very nice and hydrating, but it's also one of those where like, if you have cracked lips or like really dry patches, like I made sure to exfoliate and stuff, but like it will get stuck on those. So just, just know that. But I feel like that's like every lipstick, you know? But I really, really like the way that it feels and it was very easy to get like opacity. So I'm, I'm happy with them. Uh, I just don't know about the shade yet, you know? But I think I like it. I think so. Let me know. Um, but yeah, I would say for these, like maybe wait to swatch in store because they're, they're pretty expensive. Like I feel like these should have been a little cheaper. Um, but that's just me. Mostly like I know like with Charlotte Tilbury, like you're getting $34 or like Pat McGrath, but that's because you're paying for very, very nice packaging. So the $28 mark for just a plain black packaging seems a little expensive. I'm like maybe $25. Okay. But 28 is a little ugh. But I really like it though. So, I mean, there you go. I bought two and I'm already like, I wanna swatch wedding day and I wanna swatch fun and I need more shades. So, those I really like. Let me know what your thoughts. As far as the eyeliners go, my only thing is like the Marc Jacobs ones retail for 26, you get 0.5 um, in those. And then the Fenty ones are 22, but you get 0.3. So they kinda equal out in terms of price and these glided on perfectly. There's nothing wrong with the formula at all. Uh, but I have a lot of the Marc Jacobs ones and there's a ton of colors to pick from. The only thing is they haven't added shades. I wish they would keep adding every year and they haven't added any other than maybe some sparkly ones for like holiday, but I need mattes. So if you're looking at them between, like I'm pretty sure these ones are twist up as well. The packaging on the Marc Jacobs though, I like a little bit better. It makes me feel Sometimes Fenty, like I really like the packaging, but it doesn't feel weighted. And I kind of like luxury wise, I feel like it should be a little, little weight to it where I feel like these are very, very, very light. So it feels more comparable to like feeling wise of a ColourPop pencil. Formula wise, I like it better than a ColourPop. Some of the ColourPop ones like really tug at my eyes. But the Marc Jacobs ones are twist up as well. And then I'm pretty sure you can twist it back down, which is what I was gonna say. Like, that's my one thing is I like that you can twist it back down. These click up so you can't put it back down. So just keep that in mind. 
I would say if you are looking for like shade wise, like I feel like there's some very unique ones that I can't find in other collections. If you're just looking for like the blues and the pinks, maybe look at Marc Jacobs or affordable options are definitely ColourPop. Like I said, those aren't my favorite formula. They're worth it if you're not gonna wear them often. Um, but these fresh ones are very, very nice. Like I talked about this in my year end, the Shockwave like neon liners and they're less than $5. So if you're someone who's not gonna really wear one of these often and you just kind of want to see if you like colored liner, I would start with something like this and then move on to like, if you want a really unique shade in the Fenty one, I think you should. So overall, I'm happy with everything. Um, I have no complaints. I just have a little like notes on them. You know what I mean? Um, just because nothing's cheap. So I wish that she would have done packages where you could buy quite a few of these but I will probably wait until like a sale. Like I love that shade Cherry Punk, but sometimes reddish ones make my eyes look sickly. Um, but I have a red liner and like I have this like burgundy one from Marc Jacobs. I love that both of them at least put the colors on them. So yeah, overall, I'm happy with everything I got. Like which shade of eyeliner do you like? What shade of lipstick? Like I wanna know everything. I just, I'm excited to film today, so. I'm excited to see your thoughts. I loved everything I got. Did I need any of this? No. Do you probably need any of this? No. But at least everything worked out great and I really like it. Again, I did rough swatches. Hopefully that's okay. But I hope it helped you guys out. Let me know if you picked up anything. I'm still debating the Fenty mascara, so definitely let me know your thoughts on that. I just, I have my loves of mascara and I'm like, do I really need another one? Do I, you know? We'll see. We'll see what happens with that. I just thought about doing like half, like maybe comparing like my Monsieur Big to Fenty. So if you guys want to see that video, definitely let me know. Um, I'm still on the fence about doing another Tati Beauty. Now that I've been using it for five days, I'm like, do I want to do an updated review or do I want to just shut that door? I don't know. Uh, but yeah, that is it for me. I will probably do that. I don't mind. I'll live, you know? Sometimes I'm like, it's not the end of the world if someone doesn't like you, you know? I just need to think like that. So anyways, I hope this helps you guys out. Please don't forget to subscribe down below. I would really appreciate it, and I'll see you guys in the next video.